And I think a lot of us are programmed to believe that we can't achieve our goals, we can't achieve our dreams. But that's ridiculous, like, I can do anything, I put my mind to it. This is everything, everything, everything. This is everything, everything for me. What is going on, Organic Fan? Welcome back for some more Organics. Man, this was a highly anticipated fan reaction by Miss Karen Brown. She has been nonstop asking me about this freaking MGK The Returns reaction. She wants the Returns reaction. So <laughs> that's what this is going to be, guys. This is Machine Gun Kelly, The Return. I tried to find the original song on Machine Gun Kelly's page. I could not find it. So we're using a lyric video from some other channel. And I appreciate y'all for letting me use it. But, you know, if there was an official music video, I couldn't find it. So, sue me. But, you know, lyrics are on the screen, and that's, that's a good thing anyway. So, we're going to go ahead and hop right into this. Like I said, this is Machine Gun Kelly The Returns with a lyric video. Y'all know what it is. Let's hear what he's talking about. Hope y'all enjoy. And they say they know me. Fuck out of here. Only God knows what I've been through, man. So if you want to talk, get your facts straight first. And if you really want to know, let me ask you something. Have you ever walked in the shoes of a giant? Or had to fill the position of a boss before you were even the client? It's Ooh, he said, have you ever had to fill the shoes of a giant? Have you ever had to be a boss before you were even considered a client? MGK is coming in strong already. That's what this reaction is going to be. Then I'm excited for this one. Thank you, Karen, for this recommendation. It's a good one. And 27 spoke to me. So obviously, you know, like he's going to be he's going to be telling us a lot in this one. You just got to listen. Ooh, I'm ready. Let's hear it. It's no wonder growing up under the roof of a tyrant That I would be the poster boy for defiance Now I'm the voice of the silence Stop being quiet, I've seen 20 years worth of violence I'm tired, it's a burden for me to open my eyelids Not an undercover cop, but it's safe to say that I'm wired I can't even get a grip on my life with pliers I'm I can't even get a grip on my life with pliers? Come on! Oh, He's saying his life is the bolt that's just stripped And you can't get a grip on it Oh, man, come on, brother. You got this, bro. Find that light. Find your fucking light. Fucked up in that head. Close my eyes because I see demons round my bed. So depressed, open them up, hoping I'm dead. Thought the fame would make it better, but it only fucked me over. Never used to touch a bottle, now I'm hardly ever sober. People want to be my friend, but where the fuck were y'all when I was 10? 11 and 12 getting bullied and beat up in the gym. I couldn't never. Yeah, but they didn't know you when you were 10. I don't really get that. I didn't get that one. That one was a little over my head. He said, but where y'all want to be my friend now, but where were you when I was 10 and I was getting bullied? Uh, they didn't know you, my guy. Because, I mean, I, I know it doesn't matter if you were 10, 20, 30, 40, whatever. If you were if you were getting bullied right in front of me and I could do something to stop it, you better believe I'd, I'd be doing something. You know what I mean? So it's just like... You got to give your friends the benefit of that doubt that they would have done something when they did know you if you were 10 years old and y'all were friends together. That's a, that's a, that's a weird, uh, that, that was a weird line he had right there. I ain't gonna lie. Let, let's, let's keep going. Forget it, girl. Now all of a sudden I'm the man. Students try to get back cool with me again. Fuck them all. Because guess where they gonna be when my record stop playing? Gone with the wind off in the record shop saying that Kells fell off. I knew it would happen. Stop hating because a month ago you was all over my jock saying that I'm that motherfucker. But now I'm whack motherfucker. Opinion. Oh, dude, see? Killing it, bro. He said, <laughs> yeah, you can't be talking shit right now. Because I did something that you didn't like. Because a month ago you were all over, oh, you were all over my shit, saying that I was that motherfucker. But now that I, you you found something that I didn't that you didn't like, I'm that motherfucker. Get out of here, man. That ain't a real fan. He's talking about the real fans, the real ones that are just ride or die, no matter what content he's releasing. Ooh, this is a good one, man. This is a good one. He is saying a lot. Let's keep going. But you cannot 
change facts, motherfucker If you want bullet points, then call me a get, motherfucker I'll lay my whole life out like a mat, motherfucker Man, I've experienced some things that will stop you from meeting My schizophrenic cousin tried to end my life while I'm sleeping My brother, uncle, wanna call now that he sees me succeeding My mama left me for a teacher, lost my dad to the preaching Half my friends are buried six feet, all the rest in the precinct Literally watched my grandmother die from diabetes I guess my prayers were answered when my aunt got cancer and beat it No, I wanna get her out of job Give her the God and the beating I did a lot of bad shit God got even But for the price I had to pay I wish I'd stop breathing My girl Ooh Ooh Man, he's saying I, I, I sinned so much I had so much going on in my life that I, And I made the wrong decisions To try to fix it So God, when he got even with me I would have rather have just stopped breathing Because it took everybody around me that I loved Ooh that I got I got chills right now. You know what I'm saying? Like that was really freaking good. You know, he's not actually saying that he wants to die, people. Let's just go ahead and get that across right now. If you are suicidal and you're trying to relate to this song by this particular negative message where he's saying that, you know, like my life was in shambles, so I just would rather die. Like everybody gets to that point. It's an exaggeration. It's an it's a hyperbole. You know, he's trying to express his deepest feelings to us about the bad parts of his life. And that's respectable, dude. Oh, this is freaking, this is amazing. This is so good. Sat in the bathtub, eight hours bleeding, hearing the doctor tell us our child's heart stopped beating. Fuck a million, I wouldn't take a dollar for a life, but I will do what's in my heart and trade this dollar for a mic. I wrote the song in hopes that it could help someone get through the night with no intentions of getting paid. I'm just doing what is right, I do it for the fans, know the real fans who stuck with me through the storm, cause they understand that there's a genuine pain behind the words I'm saying, and they embrace me, so I thank y'all for staying. Ain't it crazy? That Passion is my Achilles heel Either that or keeping it way too real But they don't know how it feels To feed off the energy of a crowd Step on stage and Sometimes, I will say, you know, like Being real, it can be an Achilles heel Because like, if I say something That, you know a, a, That a popular person On YouTube or whatever doesn't like And then, you know They call me out or whatever you know, it's like I turn into the bad guy for just being honest. And that's something that like I've kind of been worried about, you know, like organic, man. We're organic reactions over here. And I'm not going to sit here and sugarcoat or anything like I'm going to tell you all how it is because that's what we do around here. But if that leads to, you know, someone hating, then so be it. I'm not going to be paying any attention to it. Uh, and he's he's. Freaking murdering this. It's so good. Make it loud, Dad. I'ma make you proud. I know we don't speak right now, but I think turning new leaves what we need right now. I love you, and you may not see right now, but I'm begging for forgiveness. I'm on my knees right now. You saw your son as a dropout, stuck around when I ran. Saw your son as a feather, now see your son as a man. See your son be a father to a beautiful child. Or just see your son, Dad. See me smile. Who would have thought what started at the bottom would someday grow from three people in the crowd, unpaid shows, six people in the room, one meal a day. I never opened an act when no one knows my name. Saw the demos that I passed out laying on the ground. Saw the rappers I befriended copying my style. Saw opportunity. Man, he's talking about when he first started, dude. And like, there was nobody at his shows. Nobody knew his name. He was eating one meal a day, just trying. He was on the grind, bro, putting out his content. And then like, he had people copying him. Ugh. You got to get away from the fakes. Find out who they are. There are there will always be serpents lurking in the tall grass. You got to come out there with a lawnmower and just mow that shit down. Find them. Chop them fucking heads off. Ugh. They don't need to be in your life. You know what I'm saying? These past while these fakes got rich. Now I can't stop speeding like my brakes ain't shit. For six months I went through hell and back. Right at the height of my success, all of a sudden doctor said I couldn't rap. I had a pile up on my vocal cords, left with a choice. Stop now or possibly lose my voice. But I woke up every morning and recorded till my throat swole shut. Talk blood up the every show because it hurt that much. I went. Bro, so I don't I don't know what he just said. I think he said he had a polyp on his throat, so he couldn't 
His, the doctor said that he had to stop rapping. Oh, fuck, dude. Could you imagine being faced with a decision that could end your career or at least stop your career for the foreseeable future because of something with your health? That's scary, dude. I couldn't imagine, man. But, you know, he's he's clearly a fighter. He's here right now. He said I was coughing up blood at the end of every show because that's how much it fucking hurt. Ugh. Bro, that's passion. That is straight passion. You killing this, dude. Ugh. Weeks without even saying the world to myself. No help insurance, so got the bills piled on the shelf. But for my daughter and my fam and every single fan, I pushed through it. Now I'm back for y'all again. As for my competition, it's the beginning of the end. But right now, this is my return. Amen. Kill. Kill. Freaking amazing, dude. Say they know me. <laughs> Fuck out of here. Fuck out of here. Fuck out of here. Dude, that was so freaking good. Another amazing song by MGK. Ugh. Y'all know what it is. That was my reaction to MGK, the return lyric video. If y'all like this reaction, go ahead and hit that button. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel on your way out. Turn on them bell notifications to never miss another video. They're dropping like flies, people, and they ain't gonna stop. All right, y'all, catch you in the next one.